Hello guys. In this lecture, we will understand a rather very important concept in C Sharp called as interfaces. So let's go through our slides first and then we will understand it with a demo. So what is an interface? An interface is similar to a class but it provides a specification rather than implementation for its members. An interface is a contract. So you can think interface as a contract. Uh, say suppose a class takes that contract so that class needs to do that work which is specified in a contract. In real life uh, examples also if you take a contract you need to finish the contract. You cannot leave the contract in between and go. So th uh, this is the concept of interface. It's a contract and whichever class is implementing the interface that needs to finish the job that's defined in the interface. The interface defines the methods that a class must implement but it doesn't dictate how the class implements these required methods. So in an interface there are just definition of the methods. There is no implementation of the methods. The implementation of the methods is pro are provided by the class that's implementing the interface. So an interface can contain only methods, properties, events and indexers. So this point we can come uh, to it later. Let's try to understand the first three points with a demo. So let's move to our Visual Studio and let me define a class here. And this class is a document class. Say suppose this class represents a lot of documents. Okay. Again guys, this is just for understanding. So I am not defining anything in the class. It's just a class. So I need to under, uh, make you understand the concept of interface. Now let's define an interface for printing the documents. So let me define the interface first then I will explain you the concepts one by one. So the interface should be iPrinter. So I have defined here interface called as iPrinter and this is the convention that is mainly used in C Sharp. You need to uh, start the name of uh, your interface as from capital I. So that denotes uh, that it is a interface. It's not mandatory. You can also remove this I. But again, uh, you need to follow the conventions that's, uh, that is common to for the entire coding world. So let me define it as iPrinter. Now, say suppose my interface iPrinter has two methods. White print and void color print. So you can see my interface has two methods. One is print and one is color print. So print gives me the black and white prints and the color print gives me the color prints. And this interface will be implemented by document class. So uh, uh, the class which uh, will inherit this in has to implement these methods. Let's go back to our slides. Look at the third point. The interface defines the methods that a class must implement. But it doesn't dictate how the class implements these required methods. So this is a very important point. Here I, what I am doing is I am just giving the definition of these methods. Or, uh, and the implementation of these methods will be given by the document class which is in, uh, implementing the interface. So in order to the, uh, this class to implement this interface all I need to do is to use a colon symbol and then I need to implement this interface. I printer and the moment I do this Visual Studio asks me to implement interface. And the moment I do this, it implements a, this interface for my class. So you can do, uh, you can see this is uh, providing the implementation of color print method which is defined in this in interface and also the print method which is defined in this interface. So all it's doing is uh, it's throwing not implemented exception. So let me remove this and give it a implementation, pseudo implementation as we have given in our previous lectures console dot sorry right line I give color prints similarly I can copy it and paste it here I give normal prints now 
this i printer is a contract which is taken by the document class and the moment the document class takes this contract the document class need to implement these two methods it cannot skip any of the methods so uh, if i comment out the print method i will get a error here it says documents does not implement interface member i printer dot print so it's complaining so let me stop the complaint and let me uncomment it the moment i do this the uh, error goes away so i guess you have uh, acquired a idea about interfaces what interfaces basically do and let's move back to our slides look at the last point interface members are always implicitly public and cannot declare an access modifier implementing an interface means providing a public implementation for all its members so this these methods are uh, public by default you cannot provide a access modifiers to these methods so let's try to provide it uh, a access modifier say suppose i need to define it private and the moment i do this i get an error the modifier private is not valid for this item let me try to make it public it's still showing me the error the modifier public is not valid for this item that means we need to take out all the access modifiers from this method so interface members all all the things that are contained inside the interfaces are public by default you cannot explicitly give any access modifiers to these members and this question is often asked in the interviews that uh, what will happen if you mark a member of interface as public so the, uh, the compiler will generate an error now so let's move back to our slides so you can uh, see as you can see in the last second point the an interface can contain only methods properties events and indexes so let's look into it so and my interface is uh, containing the methods so let's try to define a field here let me initialize it to zero look what the compiler says it's giving me an error it says interface cannot contain a field let me remove this let me try to make a class inside a interface it, the moment i give a class cls and see what compiler says cannot declare types so all the reference types cannot be declared inside the interface but we can have properties inside interfaces without the access modifier so it gives me an error the moment i declare a property the modifier public it is not valid so i uh, when i remove this my error goes away so property is intern like a method of, uh, with get and set so therefore properties are allow allowed inside the interfaces and same goes with indexes and events because indexers are just like methods with this keyword let me try to declare a delegate inside a interface so i am not declaring a delegate inside interface i am just calling that delegate so let's try this public delegate void my delegate i am declaring a delegate and let's try to declare this delegate inside my interface see there is no error i can have my delegate also but this delegate should be declared outside the interface you just need to call this delegate inside interface so this is also a very confusing and very important question in interviews can you declare a delegate inside a interface you cannot use this delegate keyword inside interface because it represent a type you cannot use this keyword deli delegates this this keyword cannot be used inside a interface but if you de define a de delegate outside you can call that delegate inside the interface so 
what are delegates they are just like methods they are function pointers so you can declare delegate inside your interface or rather you can make use of delegate inside interfaces and same goes with events you can also have a event of my delegate type inside a interface because all these things are related to uh, to methods so the base is method and all the other things which resemble a method like delegate indexes etc are, are allowed inside interface but remember delegate type is not allowed means the delegate class is not allowed only your custom delegate is allowed inside the interface i hope you understood this the moment we declare declared these two things inside my interface i got a error here again and let me implement this interface again and look uh, my document class is now implementing this property my property and my document class is also implementing my custom delegate so i hope you understood this so let let me remove this and let me remove this because it's getting a quite confusing and my intention is to make you understand the concept very well let me align it and now let's move back to our slide so we cannot create an instance of an interface to access the interface method we need to create an instance of a class that implements that interface so let's look into so let me have the object of document class new documents look i am getting both the methods of color print and print from that interface but that's not our issue let's try to create a instance of interface so what's the name of my interface it's i printer and let me change it here too and the moment i do this i get an error here cannot create a instance of the abstract class or interface i printer so that makes sense because interface is not a class it's just the declaration of methods so we cannot create a object of interface however we can create a reference of interface that means this and point to our class so i can always do like this i printer obj this is the object this obj is the reference of this interface which is pointing towards the documents object so let's see color print and print so i guess this concept is also clear to you because this is the same concept what we uh, try to understand in my uh, session in inheritance it a base class can always point towards the derived class and same concept is being followed it here so you can consider if if you consider this i printer as a class so this is the base class and this is the derived class but theoretically interface is not a class it's just the declaration or a contract so this is this is possible however you cannot create a object of interface so let's move back so that explains my last second point too we can create a interface reference that points towards the implementing class now classes can inherit multiple interfaces that was not the case with multiple inheritance if i have a second interface say i printer 2 and it has print 2 and color print 2 so i can give a comma here and make that documents class implement both the interfaces and it asks me to implement interface and the moment i do this I have both the methods also color print 2 and print 2. So multiple inheritance is not possible in C sharp. However, you can implement more than one interfaces to a class in C sharp. Let's move back. So classes can inherit multiple interfaces. So guys, I hope you understood the concept of interfaces. In my coming up lectures, I will explain you the real life example of interfaces. 
where when and where we use interfaces this lecture was just to make you understand the concept of interfaces so i hope you understood this thank you so very much